language and story bring communities together. Um, literature and drama interrogate, critique and transform the way people think about the world. In fact, literature is our oldest technology for binding humans together. I'm Alexandra Gillespie, Professor and Chair of the UTM Department of English and Drama. I research the history of literature and art through the technology of the book. The founding of UOT Mississauga coincided with the expansion of higher education in Canada and an official policy of multiculturalism as the country opened its doors to non-European immigrants. Literature and art are what forge people's cultural identities. We're in a moment where the study of literature, drama and other arts is broadening to include previously excluded cultures. If we don't study these, we don't understand the people that we are um, or who others are. The rise of algorithms, so computational thinking or artificial intelligence, is likely to eliminate a lot of mechanistic work. What humans will be left with are activities that require judgment, ethics and especially creativity. I'm Rhonda McEwen. I'm Associate Professor and Director of the Institute of Communication, Culture, Information and Technology. In the past, we focused on communication between people as the main source of exchange. Now we think about the intermediary that sits between, not as passive tools, but as active participants. We study how new media technologies have permeated every aspect of human life. It's fundamentally important to understand the benefits, but also the consequences of integrating them into our environment. We always tend to co-op technologies for reasons beyond their original designed intent. We are never far from a desire to push the boundaries, always reaching and trying to extend our intellect, our physical abilities. In the future, would we voluntarily integrate machines into our bodies? I'm uh, Florian Shkurti, I'm an assistant professor uh, of robotics at the Department of uh, Mathematical and Computational Sciences at UTM. So 50 years ago, robotics research was mostly driven by the quest for uh, space exploration. Uh, for example, rockets relied upon electromechanical sensors for uh, navigation. The focus of my research involves the development of computer vision and machine learning methods, uh, which are tools to address how robots such as uh, autonomous vehicles can cope with the unknown. So in the near future, uh, areas such as autonomous vehicles, personal robotics and healthcare robotics uh, will really shine. Uh, as the cost of these robots comes down, uh, they will become more and more accessible to individuals and small businesses and there will be significant uh, advances in their autonomous capabilities. There is some fear around the uh, effect of robots on jobs and their use as uh, weapons. Uh, I think there needs to be further discussion between the scientists and engineers who solve the technical uh, problems in these areas and the experts in policy uh, economics and ethics who examine the impacts of uh, our technologies on society. Here at the Institute, we know we are teaching the people who will create the next technologies. We want them to understand all aspects, the potential and the pitfalls, so that they create and design with strong ethics and values. We're in a moment of disruption caused by everything from AI to climate change to the new populist nationalism. We need to think carefully about what we want to keep, what we're willing to relinquish, and what we need to restore. The arts and humanities create vital spaces for that kind of work. They are where we can think about what really matters in the end.